Hello, this is Jeanette Gomez. In our previous episodes, we talked about the five sounds that the letter A makes. We learned that it makes A as an apple, A as an acorn, A as an okra, A as in watch, and A as in ball, and in our very last episode, we learned why A made an A sound as an apple. We learned that a vowel in a closed syllable is short, meaning that when the vowel A is followed by a consonant in that same syllable, it is a closed syllable. A is making an A sound as an ant. We also learned that when a word has two vowels separated by two consonants, we most often divide between the two consonants and accent that first syllable. An accent means it's louder, longer, and stronger. And then we have two syllables. This is our first syllable. This is our second syllable. In our first syllable, we have a vowel, and right after that vowel is a consonant in that same syllable. And consonants close or partially close our mouth with our teeth, our tongue, or our lips. For example, if we said the sound of the letter F, it would be and that sound will be closed by our teeth touching our lips. So that vowel in a closed syllable is short, code it with the breathe. This is the breathe, and it tells us that A is making the A ah sound. Today we are going to learn why the letter A makes an A sound, as in acorn and as in grape. Let's look at some words. Let's look at these words. Basic, lady. They both have the letter A in the word. And the sound that they are producing is A. Say that with me. Basic. Say this word with me. Lady. Let's look at why these words have A producing the A sound. Let's look at the first word. In the first word, we have two vowels. Vowels are letters that are open and voice. When we say the names of these letters, A, I, our mouth is open. When we touch our throat and we say, a, I, we feel a vibration. That means they're voiced. So vowels are open and voiced. When you have vowels that are separated by consonant, that means we are going to have more than one syllable. So we have two vowels separated by one consonant means we're going to have two syllables. In a vowel, consonant, vowel, word, we most often divide before that first consonant. Don't get confused when we have two vowels separated by two consonants. In that case, we most often divide between the two consonants. But when we have a vowel and one consonant and another vowel, we most often divide before that first consonant. We also know that in English we accent syllables. We do not see the accent in English, but we certainly do hear it. We accent syllables because our language goes up and down when we speak. We don't speak like robots. We have inflection, we have rhythm when we're talking. Let's look at this first word here. It has two syllables. 
In English, we accent usually the very first syllable. So let's go ahead and accent that syllable. An accent means our mouth is open wider and it's longer and it's stronger. Now let's look at our very first syllable here. Which letter is our vowel? A is the vowel. Now look at that very first syllable. In that very first syllable, is there a consonant? No, there's not a consonant. Don't get confused. There is a consonant in that second syllable, but we're not talking about that second syllable. We're talking about the first syllable. That vowel does not have a consonant following it. That means that vowel is in an open accented syllable. So when a vowel is in an open accent syllable, it is long. A long vowel sound says its name, so A says A. And we code it by putting a macron on top of it, and that's just a straight line. That's just to remind us that A is going to say its name and that it's long, A, as in basic. Let's look at our next word. How many vowels do you see? For sure we see one vowel. Sometimes people think Y is only a consonant, but that's not true. Y is only a consonant when it's at the beginning of a word, like in yarn or yellow. But whenever you see Y in the middle of a word, or at the end of a word, Y is a vowel. So actually we see two vowels. We see A and we see Y. And those two vowels is sep are separated by one consonant. And in a vowel, consonant, vowel situation, we always divide before that consonant. And in English, we accent the very first syllable. Now let's look at that vowel A. And only looking at this very first syllable, we're not thinking about the second syllable. But in that very first syllable, is that letter A followed by a consonant? No, it's not. So that means that vowel is in an open accented syllable and it is going to say its name. A long vowel says its name, so a vowel in an open accent syllable is long, coded with a macron. That is a macron. That tells us that the letter A is going to say its name. It's going to say A. So now we have learned that A says A as an acorn because a vowel in an open accent syllable is long. A long vowel says its name. Let's look at another reason why vowel A would say its name A. Let's look at some different words. Let's look at these words. We have steak. Say that after me. Steak. We have this word, eight. Say that word after me, eight. Now looking at these words, what letters do they have in common? What do you see that they have that are similar? They both have A and they both have E. What is the sound of A in steak? Yes, it is long. It's saying its name. I'm going to code it with a macron to remind me that it says its name. Listen for the sound of E in steak. You're right, it doesn't have its sound. Let's cross out silent letters. What is the sound of a in eight. You're correct, it's long. 
it says its name. Let's put a macron on top of that term minus that it's saying its name, that it's saying the long vowel sound. What is the sound of E in eight? You're correct. It is silent. Let's cross out silent letters. What do you notice that is between the long vowel A and the silent E? Correct, it's a K. What do you notice that's between long vowel A and silent E here? You're correct, it's T. What do K and T have in common? Yes, they are both consonants. So this is a A consonant E syllable type. And in an A consonant E syllable, the A is long and the E is silent. That's why the vowel A says A in great. A consonant E, the A is long and the E is silent. That is our rule. In an A consonant E syllable, the vowel is long and the E is silent. Sometimes people, when they first learn to divide words into two, into their syllables, they see two vowels separated by a consonant and they want to divide before that consonant. In this case, it's correct. Because remember the definition of a vowel a vowel is open and voiced. Let's look at these words down here. Well, we have a vowel, we have a consonant and another vowel, and sometimes we mistakenly think, okay, we're going to divide the word here before that consonant. But let's remember, vowels are open and voiced. Although this is a vowel, it is not voiced. Remember, it is silent. Because in a vowel consonant E, the vowel is long and the E is silent. So this is not two syllables. This is one syllable because we only have one vowel, A, making a sound. So today we learned A says A in A chord because a vowel in an open accent of syllables long, a long vowel sound says its name. We also learned that A says A in grape because in an A consonant E syllable, the vowel is long and the E is silent. Stay tuned to the next episode when we learn why A says uh as an okra.